how uh, these guards are very temperamental on how sometimes they work, sometimes uh, they don't work, which is why it's difficult. But yeah, there we go, it's, he's working. I just slammed the camera. So uh, this one I can't actually take out to review because it's still sealed in its box and I don't want to take it out, to be honest, I want to keep it sealed up, but there's not a lot to say about this one anyway. So this is the Evil of the Daleks. Dalek, as you can see there, classic, sorry, Evil of the Daleks. Na that shouldn't say 1968, that should say 1967. Hmm, weird. But all it is is, you know, the classic silver Dalek and accent. Uh, the hemispheres are the same as well as the other. Everything's the same. The only difference is the dome is black and it is a matte black. It's hard to tell on camera, but I can assure you it is a matte black. Again, all the information on this box is exactly the same as all the previous ones. So if you want to have a look at it, then, well, there you go. Just have a read of it in your own time. And there is all that information, all the artwork and that the same. And that is previous releases and that and this one is 27 megahertz but yeah to be honest not a lot to this guy uh to be honest and he's one of the less interesting ones because literally all he is is just the silver guy with a black dome you know um and unlike say the six and a half inch one which is an incredibly hard one to get this one uh well he isn't common uh, he isn't too difficult to find, uh, to be honest. And to be honest, if you really good want one, you could just paint the dome of a silver one, which is very fairly easy to find black. I mean, there's not really a lot I can say about this one. I mean, we've got the same sort of mesh section and that, and the uh, belt section here, which is the older type, not the newer one. So, yeah, that's really all there is to say about him. Not a lot is there, but hey... I still quite like it, not nonetheless, but there's nothing really to say about him other than he's the classic 60 silver with the black dome. But that's exactly what it was, so yeah, I can't be really, you know, knocking it. And the people on the ice cock again, um, none of uh, the black Dalek leaders uh, actually had, I believe, uh, the people with the dome and that. I believe, though I could be wrong, the ones that went later on, say, for charity events, thanks and that did have it, so, yeah, you could argue that, but otherwise, not a lot. Apologies for the wobbling axe, uh, I forgot to bring my tripod adapter, oh well. Okay, so this is the Death to the Daleks product Enterprise RC Dalek, and this came out towards, again, the end of the line of them. Well, the TV ones anyway. How can you know this? Well, mainly because of the slacks and the mesh and that. <laughs> that are the newer type that they later on introduced. And actually, uh, this one I've actually had since, again, it was released. I got this from Model Zone because uh, it was on sale for £30 back then. I got it for my birthday about ooh, just over a decade ago. And he still works and he's still perfectly fine. So, yeah, if just shows if you do take care of product enterprise Daleks they will still work and that's I mean just keep them in a cool dry place I've kept this one on top of my wardrobe band and he's perfectly fine but anyway enough of that let's get into the detail of him so as ever we'll start with the dome and the eye stalk because we always start there so let's start with the eye stalk we've Again, we've got the same blue discs on the end and that that we always do. Same moulding, same everything and that. And we've got the pupil and the iris there, all the same. Uh, the silver on the dome and the rest of the Dalek is a slightly different silver to the one on, say, the 60s uh, Dalek from Product Enterprise. And I'm glad that they've done this. They did this with the 6.5 inch talking range and they've done it with this one because they are a slightly different silver and uh, they've done it correctly here as well it's a slightly different silver and it looks pretty good and pretty accurate they've given it uh, the clear dome lights which is still accurate I mean they could have given it 
the orange uh, don't likes the only one garlic in that score he had them so it makes sense for them to reuse the clear dome likes again even though the LEDs inside are still red as of all of them we've got the mesh again all exactly the same as before but with silver struts going down and as for mentioned the mesh section which is the newer one with the individual uh, slacks going down and this sort of really thin plastic sort of grating effect printed onto it it is very thin and it is very fragile unfortunately I do prefer the other rubberized one since uh, you couldn't really break it however this thing can easily catch on things despite it uh, somewhat looking more accurate although in some cases because of the plastic use it looks somewhat less in other cases We've also, uh, this is nice that they've done this, they've painted uh, this part of the Dalek on the shoulder section black, which is correct. And also, this is uh, not inaccurate, uh, because this Dalek does not have a circle in the middle. However, this is accurate because there is one Dalek in the story that uh, does not have the circle in the middle, so that is technically accurate. Uh, the ball joints uh, both being black now the uh, sucker arm I believe was silver on this one though the gun is silver just like the carrot options one and on mine you might see a little bit of uh, black on there because originally I used a permanent marker and uh, when I first got this and uh, made it black however last year I decided to uh, get rid of that to its original condition though there's still a little bit seeping in the cracks on that there but uh, the ball joint is also black on there, so that is a bit odd, to be honest. The band going around here is silver, and that which is correct. And if we take a look at the base, you can see there we've got black glossy hemispheres. Thank you for giving us the correct hemispheres and that, because they should be glossy, and the same silver. And what I like what they've done with the base is they've given it uh, the two-tone base. So the top of it is silver to represent, you know, the actual uh, fiberglass of the prop. But the bottom section here is black to represent sort of like the rubber caster on it to hide the wheels. Which is exactly what Carrot Options have done as well with these Daleks. So, uh, well done on Product Enterprise for doing that. Again, this was released later down the line. It still has the same inaccuracies as the other, for example, on here, this being misliked. However, I, I swear there might have been one Dalek in that story that did have the neck bings like this. I don't know. I have to re-watch Guess to the Dance. I haven't seen it in quite a bit. But other than that, you know, this is a pretty accurate and pretty good representation of that Dalek. There's not really any, you know, much I can complain about with this. I mean, they've got most things correct in that and the sculpting and that is correct because it was still using the sh same short craft models which is what product enterprise ones are based off and we've got the same remote which is a 40 hertz one with the dalek being engraved on it so let's turn him on oh dear i hear the batteries are going in this one but hey you can still move Yeah, I mean, I won't bother showing you all the sounds because they're exactly the same, but um, I put some batteries in them, and, unfo and unfortunately, uh, the batteries I put in them uh, are not very good. <laughs> Sorry about that, but uh, you saw early, early on with um, the Supreme Dark from Planet of the Daleks and on previous other videos, he has the exact same sound effects and the same light effects as all of the other television product enterprise Daleks. And overall, uh, what I think of uh, this one in particular, well, I do, if you really like the Death Daleks, obviously, it's really good. It's, a, it's one of the more accurate ones uh, in the line because it is using the same sculpt. It's basically just a reprint painted uh, Planet or Genesis one, which is what it was in uh, the actual sh serial. So, yeah, in terms of finding him, uh, interestingly... 
I don't see him on eBay very often, which is a bit weird. Uh, I don't know, maybe because he was released later on in the line. Um, though it's just something you, you, you don't see that often on eBay, uh, to be honest. It's normally the Genesis one, or normally a silver one, or the Black Supreme. They're, they're the three that you see most often on eBay, and probably the three that were most commonly bought, because probably a lot of people at the time looked at this and uh, just saw the silver and uh, just saw, oh, you know, it's just the silver Dalek, but uh, not realising the black on there, because it just depends on that, but I do really like this one, I mean, I like all of them, I am biased towards product enterprise, as you all know, but this one is one of the more accurate ones that, because the sculpting is accurate to the most part, and also, you know, I'm not bothered that they they gave it the regular gun. It would have been nice if they'd done it black, because they clearly could have. Because with the Genesis one, they uh, made the gun black on that one, so why couldn't they do this on this one? But then again, why couldn't character options do it on their 5-inch one as well? So, hey, it's something both of them have made a mistake on, and there uh, has yet to be corrected on any of them. So, lovely, lovely Dalek. Just lovely Dalek, eh? Alright, so now for one of the more interesting ones out of this Dalek range of Product Enterprise Daleks. And here we have what is their representation as the Supreme Dalek from Planet of the Daleks. And if you're wondering why this one is shot at a different angle, it's so I can sit down. I've been kneeling on the floor for all of these and my legs cannot take it anymore. So anyway, let's take a look at this one because this one has quite a unique things and a couple of firsts for Product Enterprise Daleks. So, let's as always start off with the head and the eye. So if we take a look at the eye, this time around we've actually got a few differences. For one, the discs around the eye are black. They are not blue this time around. So that is, first of all, a first for Product Enterprise. I believe this was the first one to not have blue rings around the eye. Also, the end of the eye is painted red to match the, uh, I think it was a B&Q torch, or from Wilkinson's, was either one of the two. So, although it is the wrong shape, it is the correct uh, colour, and they are trying with uh, what they have, because obviously they don't really... Ha Product Enterprise didn't really have the money to do a completely brand new sculpt, so they've done the best of what they can, because obviously on the front there we've just got the standard iris and pupil, which looks an interesting colour if we're reflecting on this camera, but it is just the standard white. And the dome lights. Now the dome lights are the same Mini Cooper sculpt, however they are painted, well, not painted, they are moulded in this purple plastic to uh, try and represent the jam jars that we used on this Dalek because uh, this Dalek obviously had jam jars for dome lights but here yeah, they're moulded in purple but anyway, let's go on the dome the dome, um, yeah, I don't think there's anything inaccurate about the dome itself because it's basically just a standard dark dome but it's painted in this uh, gold colour to match it, but it's a different type of gold. It's not the same colour gold as, say, the Gold Supreme Dalek from Day of the Daleks. It's a, a different kind of gold, I think, more darker. If we take a look at the next section here, uh, it's hard to see on camera, but uh, what they've done is if I try and catch it in the light there. You can see that uh, the struts going down, they've painted black. And uh, the discs going round here, uh, they've left gold. To try and make it look like uh, the actual dark from, from the episode, because it didn't actually have any mesh. This mesh section should all be completely smooth. But obviously, uh, I, can, I can really appreciate Product Enterprise going in for you know and adding a bit of effort here to try and make the Dalek look as close as it can with the with the molding that they've got so I can appreciate that even though it's inaccurate they clearly are trying here with what they've got 
And if we take a look at the slacks now, these are interesting slacks here because uh, this is when they incorporated the new type of slacks with the new type of mesh. So, what we've got here is individual s slacks going down and the mesh is actually uh, a very thin plastic that's attached. Just comparing it to the old type of mesh, this is just going to change this out, you can see it's just all one mould and all one piece and it's a sort of belt that goes around and clips on at the front. This one is not. This one is uh, different and uh, they used, and once they introduced it on this one they started using it on uh, all further ones, for example uh, the 12 inch movie Daleks, they used them on there and also the Death Dalek, so which we'll get on to later. Taking a look at the plunger and gun, it's the same old, same old, and they're moulded in silver, which is correct. So there's nothing really much to say about them. Interestingly, uh, this Dalek also uh, is one of the first to not have the circle in the middle. It is just gold smooth and that, so compared to, again, what we had previously on previous Daleks with the circle in the middle this one does not, although I believe it should have a circle in the middle, uh, possibly, I can't remember it actually, actually no, it probably doesn't have a circle in the middle, that is probably correct, I'm assuming because uh, this was uh, originally a movie Dalek that was um, converted into well, something very similar to what we see here and if we finally move down to the hemispheres, again they're painted uh, in the golden accent. We've got a nice glossy black finish and that. Although the fender is just the standard Dalek fender, it isn't the thicker one. Now uh, at, at the time I don't believe that they'd uh, released the 12 inch movie Dalek so they didn't have that type of base yet. So that is most likely why it's got this base. No, it does mean he does. He does still fitting well with the Genesis model on that, and they do look pretty good together. And you could do a sort of reenactment of uh, Planet of the Daleks. But anyway, uh, that's enough of that. Let's watch him move and talk, eh? All right. So let's see him move about. And uh, this Dalek is the twenty-seven megahertz frequency for those who care. And you can see there, despite the Daleks uh, don't like to be moulded in purple, the LEDs inside are still red, and since they're bright enough, you can see the red shine through. Again, they do look a bit pink on uh, camera, but uh, I assure you they are, they are red, though they look a bit different. Because of the purple moulding. Well, as you can see, he moves in the exact same way that basically any other RC Dalek moves. Get there. The the and as you can also hear, the phrases are exactly the same as any other Product Enterprise TV Dalek. So anyway, uh, let's get on to my final thoughts on this Dalek, shall we? Well, obviously if you couldn't guess and you can see a trend coming on, I do really like this one. It is a very interesting one. I mean, mainly because the Dalek Space Gun was a very interesting, very unique uh, Dalek. And also, the fact that he does fit in uh, very well with the Genesis ones. So, if you wanted to have sort of Planet of the Daleks with the Supreme Dalek, then there you go. But he does fit in very well with them. Otherwise, yes, uh, the sound chip is exactly the same and that but then again that's just expected I mean I doubt they change the sound chip for any of these and yes he does have his inaccuracies he is very inaccurate to the actual da Dalek scene 
in Planet of the Daleks. But again, he's very, he is very nice, and I could go my uh, product Express trying their best with what they had. I mean, in, they took the molding and they've got all the colours right. You know, let's say that they have got all the colours right. So, you know what? What can I say other than they were doing their best with their, what they had? I'm sure if you know if it had the movie Dalek base that uh, they started introducing with the 12 inch movie Daleks later on, they'd have a bit more accuracy and also a more accurate eye. Because if they'd used a movie Dalek eye that was just a plain white rather than the pupil one, then uh, maybe you'd be convinced that it was the torch. Uh, this Dalek is uh, a bit, quite a bit harder to get than say the Genesis one sitting next to it or the silver uh, Dalek uh, simply because um, there were less of them made in that probably, you know, again, the, these were made for basically uh, dark collectors or people or as more uh, retro stuff they were aimed towards adults and that and most adults and that were obviously thinking of uh, the Genesis Daleks or the Silver Daleks but uh, or the Black Supreme Dalek but not necessarily this one uh, I mean if you can find him for a decent price then by all means get one no I do not see him on eBay very often I mean this one uh, I got for, I think he was something like um, £30, which uh, was a pretty good price. He didn't come with a box and that, though, he, again, the box was exactly the same as all the other boxes and that. So, yeah, I mean, he is nice and I do really like him. Also, just one last uh, note on Product Enterprise uh, Daleks here. If you want to keep them in a good condition and you don't want, say, the motors in them to break and that thing, you want to avoid some of the issues that Product Enterprise Daleks generally do have in breaking down, then keep them in a cool and dry place. Because they don't like warmer temperatures, you know, just, and me personally, uh, these ones I keep at my grandparents' house in a walking ro wardrobe cupboard. So... Yeah, that's where they'll be skating, and they have skated for yet many years. I mean, the Genesis one has been there pretty much all its life, and so was um, the movie Dalek, right at the very, very back there. And they're all still perfectly fine, still perfectly working, so it seems to work with them, and hopefully if you get one, it should work with yours. So yeah, just a little word of advice there. There we go, so that's all the Product Enterprise TV Daleks in the 12 inch range reviewed. Good. Halt, you Wait, will cease the reviewing hell? the Product Enterprise Daleks. You must not review them, you must not give them good reviews. You must only review the character options Daleks. You must not review them, you will desist. What, and review you? Well, technically, I already have reviewed you, but come on, Paradigm Daleks? Really? Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's gonna go craving over the Paradigm Daleks, aren't we? Like that's ever going to happen. But we are superior to them. We have fully motorized domes and eye stalks. We have voice interactive features. We are more accurate to the on-screen props. We are also larger and more imposing. The product enterprise Daleks are inferior. It's just, in, in many ways you are. In fact, I've already said that you're my favorite kind of Daleks, but the product enterprise ones, you know, there's just not a range like it, and they have a charm to them as well. Something that you don't really have yet, because, well, you're not old enough to have that kind of sort of nostalgic charm or that charming thing about it where there was no Doctor Who on TV when they were being made. Then you must be extinct!
exterminated, exterminated, exterminate, 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 exterminate,